So while at SPC you've spent all this time building this amazing professional ePortfolio and you've graduated, congratulations. But you would like to take the ePortfolio with you. Well, you're going to be able to and this tutorial is going to show you how you can use an area called mydesiretolearn.com to continue to update your ePortfolio. So the first step in the process is to export the ePortfolio from my courses. So we're going to go to the reports tab and go to ePortfolio. You're going to click on my items. Under the more actions, you're going to click go to import export page. You're going to click export and then you can choose all items or you can select specific items. I'm going to choose all items. Click on export and then you can click on this view progress of export page to be able to get to the zip file. Once you have the zip file is done it'll be ready for downloading. Go ahead and click on it. Now depending on what browser you're using you may have a different dialog box. The most important thing in this particular case is to click save. Now depending on the operating system you have you may want to put it wherever you want. In this particular case I'm on a Mac but if you're on a PC again you would just use the desktop um, or the downloads wherever you want. Just make sure you know where you're putting it. Now you can click close. Now you need to go to the mydesiretolearn.com and create an account, what's called an edge identity account. Once you do that, when you come to the My Desire, Desire to Learn, you'll actually enter the username and password you just created and go ahead and click on login. What you're going to see once we log into the system here is that this particular web-based system looks exactly the same as it does in my courses. So there's really no difference. You're going to go ahead and click on my items and now you're going to go ahead and click on more actions and go to the import export page. You're now going to click the import You're going to browse for the file. In this case, I put it in my downloads. You're going to click on it and click open. You're going to click next, and it's going to go through an import process. When the items have all been ready for import, just click on the import button. And you can sit and view the progress of the import page if you wish by clicking on that, and you'll see that it's going to be going through the process. When it's all done, go ahead and click the Done button. If you click back on My Items, you will notice that all of the items that you've had in your ePortfolio of My Courses have now been added to this MyDesireLearn.com, including your presentations. You can continue to use these. You can continue to update these. You can continue to add new items and keep your ePortfolio up to date throughout your entire career.